Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's meeting. This is the Chaos Project Management um, Teams meeting. It's the 20th of August, 2024, and it's six, seven minutes past half six West African time. So, yes, you're welcome wherever you're watching from or tuning from. Uh, my name is Iga, and hi, everyone. Um, is there anybody that would like to share the screen, take notes, um, or should I share my screen? Which which one works for all of us? What do we want to do? Hi everyone, this room is so quiet today. <laughs> okay, Hi, I'll just Hi, go ahead. You. Yes, I can hear you, Gloria. Okay, I was about to type in the chat that I can take notes while oh, we share. Awesome. Oh, awesome, awesome. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. We have a volunteer. Thank you, Hamid. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay, perfect. Well. Perfect. Thank you so much, Hamid. Um, so today we're going to, we have a couple of things to talk about. We had the co-chairs meeting earlier today. And one of the things that we wanted to do is to have a, have goals and objectives as a team, right? That would help us know what we want to do, what we'd like to focus on. And of course, you know, reiterate and change everything or change anything that we would like to change as time goes on. The other thing we're going to be talking about today is um, review of our ongoing projects. Uh, let's let's just take a look. If you can click the sub projects, the spreadsheet of the sub projects, let me copy that. We have a couple of projects that are ongoing in chaos, and I think that it's best for us to find out how each of those projects are going, what's going on, and welcome back from the break, everybody. <laughs> it's been two weeks, two weeks of no meetings. So yes, I think everything has been a bit quiet. Everywhere has been a bit quiet. I don't know about everyone else, but yeah. So I'm just putting the, yes. Thank you, Hamid. So yes, um, I don't know who would like to go first, but um, there are a couple of projects that are ongoing. I know that the accessibility audit is ongoing, the onboarding courses. I don't know if there's anybody that would like to give us an update. Peculiar, would you like to give us an update on how that is going, the onboarding course? Hi, Peculiar. Can you hear me? Okay, so maybe we, our network is iffy or something. Um, so if you don't know about the onboarding course, um, everyone at Chaos is doing such a great job. And Pecula is doing a great job maintaining and PMing that project. Um, so it's basically, you know, the team at Chaos coming together to ensure that people that are new to open source <coughs> or new to the, pro the Chaos project are able to contribute efficiently and effectively. And um, that has been ongoing for some time now, for months actually. So. I just wanted us to have an update on that. Um, for the Grimoire Lab, um, if we can open that, we have myself and Sayo are still working on it. Currently, the PM is Harmony and it's been doing a great job. If you can open the, um, let me just, I think I should do this. 
we now have a project board. Maybe I should share my screen. I think that would be better. We actually have a project board right now. And um, how many did suggest that it would be better? We got on a call and we both agreed that it would be better to sheet, you know, and go back, update the spread board that we use to basically we're cleaning up the repos. Well, that's like the updates on Grimoire Lab, um, repos and docs. I don't know if any other person has any updates before we move on from that. Do we have any new updates, fresh updates? You can feel free to unmute your mic or use the chats, whichever one works for you. Thank you, Hamid. So this is basically what we're doing, responding, triaging issues, merging and closing PROs. So, okay, so if there's no updates from the rest of the team, um, I think one of the most important things I wanted us to do today was talking about the goals for um, the team, right? The PM team. And as we all know, um, for every team, we need to just really have, you know, goals and objectives. So the floor is open to everybody. We didn't want a situation where we'll just discuss it from the um, co-chairs meeting and bring it to the general meeting. We wanted a more inclusive and collaborative, um, you know, document. So the floor is open. What are our ideas? What do you think? What do we think? Should I go first? <laughs> Should I go first? Hi, everyone. How are we quiet? What's going on? Yeah, yes, please, please. Please go on. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, personally for me, I would think that our focus goals, all of our goals should, of course, um, be aligned to the broader mission of the chaos project, ensuring that community and software development efforts are well coordinated and effectively managed, which is what we do as a, as a project management team. So we need to enhance project coordination. That would be number one for me. Um, streamlining collaboration and communication across all our working groups and the various stakeholders. So each of the working groups, collaboration and communication just needs to be top notch. The second thing for me will be um, improving the participation. I would say community engagement, right? So by community engagement, I mean participation, the diversity of the people contributing to the project um, and retention in our community, the chaos community, right? is very important because I think that one of the things that happened with the project management team is uh, was the fact that we stopped the meetings for a while, right? Meetings were stopped for a while, so it kind of trickled down. And right now we're, we're really, we really just need more project managers. And there are project managers looking for open source projects to contribute to, right? So there's that. So I would say improving our community engagement as project managers, we would say that aside from, you know, managing sub projects, the chaos project itself is actually our projects, right? So that's something off the top of my head. That would be number two for me. And then, um, and this is at a top level actually, but uh, efficient development is also necessary. So by efficient development, I mean, we would, have, we would have to ensure that there's timely delivery of, you know, whatsoever tasks are being worked on. And by that, I say that to say, of course, it's open source. Of course, people have other things that they're doing. But so one of the ways, I think we we'll just need to have novel ways or, um, ideas that we can implement to say, oh, 
um, if you're unable to work on something for two weeks or if yourself and your team are unable to work on something for two weeks, can somebody else take it up, right? And somebody else that is, you know, really willing to work on that project, you know, take it up just so that things don't fall and, you know, get to the bottom. So one, two, three, enhancing the project coordination, community, improving community engagement, facilitating efficient development, and then um, strengthening our documentation and resources is very important. And I think that um, we need to make sure that our documentation is comprehensive and accessible for all our as all the aspects of the chaos project. And I think that's majorly it for me. I don't know if anybody has any other thing to add. So those are like top level goals. And then we can then break it down into objectives and, and then have a roadmap. So I don't know if there's any other additions that would want to add to that. Hi, Hamid, you're still uh, sharing your Thank screen. you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Yuga. I think you pretty much said it all. Uh, but the uh, one thing that I want to clarif clarify, I need more clarification on the uh, project manager's responsibilities because uh, I feel like having two to three project managers and then a technical lead on the project is a good idea. But what I feel, it's like there is a bridge of communications and the communications are very small, even in the, even in the uh, Slack channels, because uh, I volunteered to lead uh, the badging website projects and uh, I can see Hamid, can you go to the to that uh, the, to that spreadsheet once again? Just a moment. Yeah, thank you. Budget website, and I can see Kinsley is a technical lead and a maintainer also on that project. So, but uh, there is no activity on the project despite having some issues on the on the project website. So, what I suggest is that. Uh, is there any way that we can make the channels active? Uh, um, I think it's a high time that we invite uh, the technical leads of those particular projects ahead of time, just like the way we have a notification about this particular meeting around 1 p.m. today, so that we can need, because like seriously, uh, I'm, this, is like a blocker to me because I need to sync with the technical lead. I don't know how to reach to him out. If I search his name on the Slack, I didn't usually get a result. Thank you. I yield the mic. Okay, thank you so much, Hamza. That was a very, very, very great suggestion. I, I think that we can take that up right it would be a great idea to have the technical leads involved in this because they actually are stakeholders right so if they can make these meetings once or i mean this ne the next meeting it will be a great idea so yes we can take it up right and send messages to them right informing them that we would like them to join the next meeting so that there's a proper thing to say okay this is what we need to do so that's a very huge blocker thank you for bringing that up um hamza i don't know if anybody else has anything to add okay um good afternoon everyone hi adik okay good evening hi hi everyone good afternoon good <laughs> okay um I just wanted to say, um, in, re in respect to facilitating uh, the goals that has been listed out today, and I would like to like enhance project coordination. I think um, 
I've not, it's, I think I, I might have not be able to like join um, any of the projects, maybe because the last meeting we had was like over two weeks ago. And that was when I, I decided that I would love to join like a new project that needs a new PM as well. So I just want to like ask if there is any project that needs new PM so I can like join the contribution. Oh yes. So thank you, Adegoke. Um we have the project, right? That's in need of a new PM. We also have the Grimoire Labs, right? But the Grimoire Labs currently has how many? So it, I think you can choose actually, but I think that, you know, the Ogo project doesn't have any at all, right? Yes, Ogo yeah, is that's all. Yes, exactly. Ogo is more technical and that's like the one thing to note. It's more okay. technical, so you might have to understand a few things. You might have to make a few meetings, you know, to understand what it is that is getting done with the Ogo project. But yes, um it's very important that we and also if you take a look if you take a good look at the the column these you would see that some some people's names have a question mark right so the we had previously reached out to them myself peculiar and sayo right we had reached out to this people i don't know if peculiar has any updates or if they have gotten back to her, or if even anybody has gotten back to her, right? So we previously reached out to them to find out if, you know, they are still interested in maintaining those projects and all of that stuff. So over to Peculiar, if you're able to speak. Okay. I doubt. <laughs> I doubt she's able to speak, but yeah, she can. Pakila, you can use the notes if you don't mind. You can use the chat rather. So what I was trying to say is that for the people that have a question mark by their name, it means that um they, it means that they would they might or might not you know there might be space there. I think that I'll just say that for now. Do you understand? So it's also okay to be a plus one on those projects. So for example, the Slack bot, we have a question mark on two uh, maintainers. So yes, it's always okay to, it's always okay to um, signify that you would like to join in as a PM on any of those projects. Just, just feel free, right? That's what I'll, I'll say to you. Do okay, we have any other? Much. Thank you, Adegoke. Also, I wanted to point out that this document, the project manager's um, goals document, right? Okay, awesome, perfect. The goals document is open for your addition, right? So aside from the, I give, I think four, major goals right four major goals so we can always add you know or expand but i think that goals can be smaller and then the objectives can be a lot more like objective one two three under each goal so i just wanted to point that out and that's why we brought it to this team so that mm -hmm. we can have more contributions do we have anything to add to that before we move over to the next item? Okay. Um, so next item will be, sorry, one second. Give me one sec. My internet is iffy. Hi, Iga. 
Hi, Gloria. I wanted to call your attention to the chat. Peculia dropped some messages, said she's unable to speak. You might want to check it out. All right. Thank you so much for that. That's fine, Peculia. It's absolutely fine. Um, the other thing that we I want we wanted us to discuss was um community engagement right so we need to explore new strategies how do we think we can bring in more people to the project management team engage the community more effectively so for example if people are not responding right to of course when you're project managing and because it's open source do we have any ideas what do we think we can do better I think that's the other thing to talk about. The floor is open. You can use the chat or I'll speak. Hi. Ah, okay. So for community engagement, I think that um, the engaging people or getting more people within the chaos community and of course outside the community is, mm, is something that we need to do if we want to be able to, what's the word now? If we need more people, of course, we need to shout it out loud out there, right? To say, oh, we need more people joining it. So I think that what I would say is within our Slack channels, right? Especially the general channel, it's okay to remind people, right? If you're a project manager, it doesn't have to be the co-chairs doing that, right? If you're a project manager and you'd really like to contribute to um, project managing, within chaos, right? You can just join the meeting. This is the team meeting every other week, right? So I don't think that it has to always be one of the coaches, right? I think we can all do that. I don't know if anybody agrees or disagrees with what I just said. And especially in the general channel, right? So that we're not going to... Okay. Yeah, I totally agree. Like uh, having one, two, two, three shout outs at the general channel can call the attention of other group members to know that uh, project managers working group also exist. Okay. Thank you so much, Hamza. Okay, so I think that Ahmed was trying to say something, but Ahmed, you can use the chats if you were trying to say something. I, I think it's just me, but I couldn't hear you. Sorry about that. Um, so yes, that's about it from my end. Do we have any other additions I would like to share? I think that <clears throat> okay so sorry I'm quiet I'm a bit quiet but I'm just trying to add to the goals documents So I just added a few things to the goals document. I think that the next thing would be the, the objectives. Hmm. Objectives. 
and I think we should work on this together to be fair. Right, so we still have a bit of time. I think we can work on this together. Hi, you guys. take our time to work on this. Collaborate on document. Hi, Gloria. I, I, you're not showing your screen, so we can't see the documents, the gold oh. documents. You... Ahmed's sharing his screen and it's on the minutes documents. So I'm sharing, my, I, I, I'm trying to share my screen right now. Thank you for pointing that out. I think Hamid has to stop sharing before you can share yours. Hi, Hamid. Can yeah, you please? He has done that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, can you see my screen now? Not yet. Have you shared? Because yes, I can't. I, can't I, uh, I don't know for others. I think I'm, can you hear me though? I think I'm yeah, I can hear you can... loud. I, can... oh. I also can't see your screen, Yiga. Oh, it's coming up now. Yeah, it's coming up. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Okay, perfect. Um, So, I had this a little open. So, uh -oh. I'll just... Uh, yeah. It's too bloody for oh, It's very it's too bloody. bloody. Okay, so what I, what I, okay, sorry about that. So video, I, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'd previously worked on maybe it. Maybe you can share, maybe you can share. Maybe Hi, Yiga, can you hear me? Maybe you can yes, share can. a link. Maybe you can share a link to the documents and I can try sharing my screen if that works. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Okay. So here's the documents. It's Okay, I'm trying to share my screen now. Okay, let me stop because, mine. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gloria. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. I can. Yeah, I. Do you want me to do anything? Make any? Hi, Giga. Hi, Giga. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Thank you, Hamza. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, okay. yeah, so I'm so sorry. Can you hear so me? Yeah, yeah. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah, so sorry about your network. I can hear you loud and clear. Let me use my <laughs> Oh, yeah, now we can hear you loud. Yeah. A few seconds ago, you, your voice was broken. Okay. Yeah, I'm really loud and clear now. Oopsie. 
Hi, everyone. Hi, Iga. Am I still lagging? Okay, so what I wanted to say is, I just wanted to say that we can collaborate on the document in real time, right? So I wasn't necessarily going to be speaking. I was just trying to say we could collaborate in real time and just take maybe 10 minutes to make this document better, right? I don't know what we think. Okay, I think we can go ahead. Um, I'm still awesome. sharing my Thank screen, you. so if you make changes, we can see it here. Or if anyone suggests changes, I can as well add it here. But my constraint now is I may not be able to continue taking notes. So I don't know how we're going to do that. Oh, yes, I can handle that. Okay. I can handle that, yes. So what is currently in the document is just stuff I had already put in on GitHub, right? I just already written it out on GitHub. So I just copied it and pasted here. So there's nothing written. It's not fixed in stone, right? It's just so that we have a mental, um, you know, sure. thing of how we're going to work on it. Yes, so, yeah. Thank you. Yes, I'm not seeing any changes, but I just want to find out. Does it mean that we're okay with this and we can take this to the broader team? Is that what we're saying? I'm not seeing any additions or changes.
Hi, Yiga. Hello, Yiga. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? So, yeah, I can hear you now. There's noise in my background. Sorry about that. But can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, so I want to ask about the fourth goal, strengthening documentation and resource. So I want to ask if there's like any plan or any objective listed out how we intend to strengthen this documentation. There's a, an already existing documentation, right? So how do we intend to strengthen it? And what are the other resources that we intend to make available for contributors? Okay, so the, so the project management team is not just um, managing projects, right? It's also managing teams. So there's a documentation team, right, that has been a little inactive. How many is working? Um, how many? And I think one of the person is working to make it better, right? There are existing gaps in chaos documentation, right? So one of the ways that we can make this better, because guess what? If the documentation is perfect, people can easily contribute to projects, right? So we have to, if we're having, you know, problems with, so for example, let's start from this point. If we're having problems with, you know, people, like I said, getting code on projects, then it means that when new people come in, if the documentation is not perfect, we'll, we'll find ourselves having to train and retrain people, right? And that will take a lot of time and it can cause burnout. But if we, if the documentation is perfect, it's just very easy to say, oh, you could go here, you could go there. And it's easier for people, newcomers to collaborate. So what am I trying to say? Um, would collaborate with the existing documentation team. Basically we're project managing them to ensure that that team is working effectively. Do you get what I mean? So, we need high quality documentation, up-to-date resources. Um, we currently also have a knowledge base at Chaos, right? And we also have the, um, what's it called now? The onboarding courses as well that is currently ongoing. So we have a couple of things that are ongoing and it's all part of, you know, education as it were, educating newbies and educating our contributors as it were, right? In as much as documentation highly involves technical writing, but it's all part of the education of the overall team. So I don't know if I answered your question, right? We're basically just auditing, project managing, ensuring that everything is perfect. So we're collaborating with the documentation team. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much, Gloria. Are you going to like have a certain project manager trying to manage the documentation team? Because yes. I don't think we need to project. Okay, so if you can please share the spreadsheet again. If you can please leave the goals. Yes. You okay, notice okay. that we have. Sorry? Okay, let me quickly drop it in the chat if that's yes. what you're asking. Yeah. Okay. So you notice that it has two um sections, right? There's the project managers for for the projects and there's project managers for teams, right? I just shared it. So if you can share your screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes, I can. So if you go to sheet two, yes, you can see that at the bottom it says Teams. No, 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 <laughs> no, Teams, yes, that's sheet two. Okay. Yes, so there are different teams and there are different project managers for each team. Do you get the point? Yeah. So, 
Yes. Yeah, so each project manager that is project managing that team, right, is in charge of saying, oh, making sure that this team is really working well and that everything is going on well. I don't know if you get the point. Yes, I do. Exactly. So in, in essence, we're not just project managing the projects, we're also in charge of making sure that everything within chaos is just working nice and easy. So that's where I was coming from with that um, goal for, right? Right. Yeah, if it makes sense. I don't know if we have additions, suggestions. You got, that's not right. I don't think so. <laughs> so please feel free. So I'm thinking, I don't know what we think. Please feel free to speak up. I mean, are they okay? Are they okay? You were trying, you were asking for um, projects and stuff. Would you like to, there are two teams as well, overall teams. Would you like to manage any of the teams? Yeah, we discuss which, which of the teams. Okay, so the knowledge based team, the, there's a community manager's team, there's a community knowledge based team, there's also Augur. Which one of them would you like to? And it's okay if you just want to manage projects, right? That's perfectly fine. I was just putting it out there. Let me go for the project. Yes, Gloria, you can please go ahead. Okay, so I'm I'm seeing Brea here for the PM of the design team, and I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure if this is me. I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking it too. Maybe you did that. Maybe you um put up for that in one of the previous meetings, right? But it's okay if you you do not want to be there. We could always change that. And for what it's worth, I think it's it's very important to point out that myself, Peculiar, and Busayo, we had already agreed previously that. Um, I think, yeah, we did agree, correct me if I'm wrong, Peculiar, but I, if I remember correctly, we agreed that we were going to just take one um, project, right, or, you know, project manage one place so that every other person can have, um, every other person can have more project managers can have more things. Do you get what I mean? So, yes, that's that. So I can see Peculiar just moved from common. Peculiar just moved herself from common to project managing the community manager's team. So yay. It's okay to switch, right? It's okay to switch. Um, I would like to join the community manager's team. Okay, so as a project manager, right? Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much, Adigo K. Thank you very much. That's not Hamza. That's Adigo K. Do you know who's taking the notes? Thank you. Okay, so Gloria, if you do not want to be um, PM in the design team. You can as well um choose a team right now. Okay, I'm looking at the other teams, and there seems to be like people currently managing those. Aside the knowledge 
base, I think. Okay, the knowledge base team is has an open slot and then the Ogot team. But the design team is fine actually. I just don't remember I asked because I don't remember. Maybe I probably indicated interest sometime and I've just not like done anything about that. So now that I'm aware, I'll just mm -hmm. continue with that. Awesome. Perfect. So I think we actually had a very great meeting today. I don't know about everyone else. But do we have any other additions to today's meeting? Okay, so I think that we we can call it a day. There's no other thing. Can I stop sharing my screen now? <laughs> yes, you can. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in today's meeting. I think that it's okay to say. Um... <laughs> okay, so interestingly, Peculiar is sending me a message in the chat. But yes, Peculiar is all love. <laughs> okay, so um, I think it's okay to say that with action item. Oopsie. Another action item will be to. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to find the meeting docs. Another action item for me would be reaching out to the, sorry, I'm missing my train of thought. Another action item for me would just be reaching out to the knowledge leads to inform them that we'd like them to join the next meeting. I know that Hamza raised that, so I think that it's also very important, right? So that there can be a sync. What do they want? Do are they having you know any issues or anything like that? So yeah, that would be it for my end. If we remember anything, let's feel free to collaborate. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye, everyone. Am I lagging? Bye, everyone. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I think okay. Bye.